What is up guys? We're going to be talking about null byte injection and how we can use it as part of a file path or directory traversal attack. So we'll make use of this lab, file path traversal, validation of file extension with null byte bypass. And the end goal of this lab is to retrieve the contents of the Etsy password file. Okay, let's access the lab. So it's these images in the lab that are vulnerable. So let's start by loading one of these images into a separate tab. And let's check out the URL for this image. So we can see there is a parameter file name and it has the value 24.jpg. And that appears to be referencing the file that's being loaded as this image. This image is likely called 24.jpg. Okay, let's forward that image request to the repeater. Let's fire up the repeater and let's just copy over that param and value file name 24.jpg. So name, file name, value 24.jpg. Let's send that to the back end. And you can see we have an image response here which matches the image we have in the picture. So it's the same HTTP request. Now the goal of this lab is to return the Etsy password file. So we could likely make use of a traversal sequence to do this. So it would be something like dot dot forward slash. So come up a directory three times, then into Etsy password. And let's submit that to the back end. And you can see we get the response, no such file. Now let's just say from previous labs that we know that this is in fact the location of the Etsy password file. And yet we're getting the response from the server, no such file. Now it turns out with this lab that it's employing validation on the file type that's being requested. So it's not actually going to return any results unless we have this .jpg on the end of the request. Now obviously this is not going to work either because the file is not called password.jpg. It's just called password. It doesn't have an extension. Now this is where the null byte comes into play. A null byte when it's URL encoded is percent zero zero. And the significance of the null byte is it's used to represent the end of a string in various languages. As it turns out, the server is likely not going to be phased by this null byte character. So once it receives this request from us, it's going to be able to verify that yes, this does look like a valid request because it ends in .jpg so the worst case scenario here is that we're going to be returning something that's an image file. It's impossible for someone to nefariously access Etsy password because Etsy password doesn't end with the extension .jpg. Or at least that's the idea behind this security mechanism. Now with the null byte character, what's going to happen is this is going to pass the initial verification when this request hits the server. But then the server is going to use this string as part of a file read API. So we're essentially switching languages. Firstly, this request is going to hit the backend language, whether it's something like node.js or something like PHP, there's probably not going to be any issues with the null byte character. But then when it's forwarded to the operating system running on the server, it could be Linux, for example. In fact, based on the fact we're looking for Etsy password, this is very likely a Linux based server well, the Linux based server is not going to do as well with this null byte character. So when the Linux operating system requests retrieval of the decoded version of the string with the null byte character, well, it's going to assume that the string is terminating after Etsy password. In other words, it's going to ignore the .jpg extension. So now we're actually just retrieving the file we wanted initially, which is Etsy password. So let's apply that, let's send it to the back end. Let's have a look at the response and we can see the contents of the Etsy password file. So this was a file path traversal or directory traversal attack. And in order to facilitate that attack, we made use of null byte injection. Hope you learned something about directory traversal or null bytes. Thanks very much for watching.